hi friends welcome back so in this video i will be discussing about uh, test case template i will be explaining in detail how the test template would look like what are the different ingredients of a test case template that i am going to discuss completely in this video so let us discuss what are the various components of a test case so various components of a test case in a test case template would look like something like that the test case id is a first thing we will have it which is a unique identifier in order to differentiate with the various test cases the test case id will have certain numbers maybe something like this login uh, 001 or logout 002 or something like that so it will have a series of uh, test cases for login it will have a series of test cases for logout so in that way it is very easy to identify if you format test case id with a certain uh, order so that anybody can easily identify what is this test case all about second field in the test case template is test case uh, title this is very important test case title is very important especially if test cases grows gradually maybe it becomes 1000 2000 10000 20000 20, test cases if titles are not properly written it is very difficult to identify the right test cases especially if you wanted to search the given test case if you put the right title searching a test case becomes very easy that is the reason whenever you wanted to give a test case you should give a proper test cases if somebody goes through that that test case title they should be having a clarity what is this test case all about and the second uh, field in the test case template is which is test objective here we are going to clearly define what is the objectives of the test cases what is the purpose of the test case as part of this test objective next one is preconditions the preconditions is very much required to be written because in order to execute these test cases we have to meet certain preconditions let's say suppose if you wanted to test for a login functionality that means that application should be up and running when i give a url if the application is not turned up if application is not hosted we cannot test the login functionality that is a precondition here i should be able to open the browser and i should be able to put the url into the browser then that application pops up that is a precondition we have to define in similar way any precondition is there for that given test cases we should write as part of this precondition cases next thing is test step the test steps here we have to give a detailed instruction detailed step by steps to write your test cases in such a way that if anybody reads that test cases they should be able to easily execute those tests as well that is the kind of simplicity you should write in your test steps and the next component of a test case template is expected results okay so i have executed these many steps after executing these steps what is the expected results out of those testing step thing that is the thing we should clearly document as part of your test case document the, the next thing is we should also define your test data what are the test data requirement is there for your test cases in order to execute your test cases what kind of test data is required that also you have to be required to be defined as part of this test data test environment you are required to execute this test also required to be documented very thoroughly in your test cases and also if there is any dependencies in your test cases because let's say if i wanted to execute this test cases there is another two test cases which i need to execute then you should clearly document or define those test dependencies in order to until unless those test dependencies are not clear you cannot go and execute this test case that we have to clearly define under this section and also the next uh, uh, step is test execution instruction if any specific instruction to be required to be written then you should write in this section which is test execution instruction section and the next one is we should also define test pass or a test fail in order to make a test case pass we should have a certain criteria to be required to be followed similarly if test case record to be failed certain 
criteria required to be followed that we have to clearly define as part of this these are the some of the key things will be there as part of the test case template i hope you guys got a clear idea now in a test case what are the different items will be there different ingredients will be there as part of your test case creation process i hope you guys got a clear idea now if you guys really like this video click on like button if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care